they're going to debar them for three years, which the statute, I understand, says up to three years, so they've taken the maximum debarment. Debarment means they basically removed them from the list of contractors to uh, contract that can bid on the state projects. I mean, that's going to hurt. That, that was my question to the commissioners. Oh, yeah. That's going gonna, gonna to bring the contractors in from other areas. Other that are gonna, areas. They're going to be higher. They were all traditionally already were higher, and now they're going to be able to come in and do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, the and, uh, and then the workers. Mm -hmm. They only this state right. wouldn't get the work. That's right. right. It's just right. a trickles down. Yeah. And then and then the Munson truck line was at the Chicago meeting, and they haul a lot of stuff out of Hancock Concrete. And Hancock Concrete has a lot of purchases from Riley Brothers for their road projects. And so Munson gets this hauling, and Hancock gets the cement making. And it, I mean, it's, it's the trickle down. So never, so that's that's the issue. And it basically, Keith, how do you? Is the state trying to just pile on in the court system and be punitive, or is there legitimate 